it's been a long road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? He's been here before, John. The team's been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have a new UFC heavyweight champion by now time. undisputed UFC heavyweight championship fight and all eyes are on the incumbent as he makes the walk here tonight and he's enjoying every moment of it huge title defense beckons for him tonight John he loves where he stands in the sport he loves the admiration that comes with being the baddest man on the planet he knows he's the biggest he's the strongest he's the baddest and he loves it and he prepares as if he never wants to let that go this man lives for being the best. This man lives to be in the spotlight. And time and time again, we see him defend this belt as if his life depended on it. Well, right, you lose this belt, it's essentially like walking back into your new life. He has no intention of suffering that fate here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Black Mamba. Referee Herb Ready Dean fight. will handle the action Ready. in the octagon. Good. All right, here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden, and I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane when Conor McGregor became the UFC double champion. From outside of the arena to build up to the fight to in the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's history. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Superman punch now. Oh, nice count. Yes. Working off the jab. It's good. Trying to establish the jab early on here. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth. This is a full-on brawl. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed several in this round and really starting to do some appreciable damage to his opponent's lead leg. Left punch is clean, followed by a right. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. His misses are entertaining. A nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. You're in the clinch. You 
goal to buy, that's an investment. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the goal. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Brips the body there. He's got great kicks also. He needs to be throwing more kicks in this fight. He hasn't thrown uh, many at all. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, just open it up on him now. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Nice body shot. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Right hand. Under two minutes to go in our first round. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Oh, beautifully timed with the Superman punch. Both fighters throwing heat now. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that. Out of range with that one. Nice block. Punch went no way. Oh, he lands a hook. Big right hand there. Oh, man, another huge hook. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Right lands. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output in this. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. That's some power there. Both guys appeared to land there. Nice. Oh, oh this could do it. He's only got 60 seconds with which to recover. Not a lot of time to get his head back into this one. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the hot He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish. But if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. You ready to fight? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Oh, defense into offense here as he blocks the strike and counters with a perfect jab. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys didn't jab with them. He hurt him bad. Well, we may have the best cut men and women in the business, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do oh Back to his feet. Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. He's hurting him bad, man. That right hook is nasty. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Well, thank God the left one's open because that right eye is really starting to shut.
right hook counter. Nice block. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Oh, how clean is that? Nice strike. Well, if this fighter gets back to the stool, he's going to get an earful from his coaches. Confidence seems to be abandoning him. Yeah, you can kind of see him looking to survive as opposed to winning the fight. When you're in there, you are there to win a fight, not just be standing at the final belt. Oh! Oh, do oh, it! Oh, oh. Holy smokes! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, El Terrible. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star and a massive draw for the UFC.